Друзья, привет! Hi! Приветствую вас на канале English Galaxy! И мы с вами продолжаем плейлист 10 тысяч английских слов. Если вам нравится идея данного видео и само видео, то просьба поставить лайк. Окей, okay, thanks. Спасибо вам огромное за вашу поддержку. Видите, здесь у нас с вами есть некоторые нововведения. Для вашего удобства или ускорения записи частей мы с вами будем выкладывать, смотрите, не по 100 слов, а по 50. Я думаю, это, во-первых, намного легче для усвоения, чисто психологически даже легче изучать, и, действительно, я думаю, получится гораздо быстрее записывать и выкладывать. Но все, зависит, конечно, от вашей поддержки. Если вам нравится, то, действительно, поддержите данное видео, и мы будем выкладывать почаще. Как говорится, why not? Ну, конечно же, это видео уже больше для среднего уровня. И даже обязательно смотрите весь плейлист про 10 тысяч английских слов и другие плейлисты на канале. И не забывайте про наш второй канал English Professional. Там также очень полезные видео. Так что подписывайтесь, смотрите и надеемся как бы на успех. Верим в успех. Следующие слова. Desktop. Desktop. Переводится как рабочий стол. Например, Did you save the document? Did you save the document? Ты сохранил документ? Did you save the document? Yeah, it's on my desktop. Да, он на моем рабочем столе. It's on my desktop. Desktop. Did you save the document? Yeah, it's on my desktop. Далее. Consist. Состоять. Например, мы хотим сказать, что в книге 5 глав. Кстати, как будет глава? Глава будет chapter. Обычно мы просто используем конструкцию there is или there are. There are. То есть мы с вами говорим, то есть в книге 5 глав. Как мы с вами это скажем? There are 5 chapters. There are 5 chapters. Там в этой книге. In this book. То есть в этой книге 5 глав. Или можно сказать, что эта книга состоит из 5 uh, глав. И в этом случае мы с вами потребляем глагол consist. Значит, получается the book или this book. Далее consist. Добавляем s. The book consists. И после consist ставим какой предлог? Верно, of. Это нужно запомнить. Consist of. The book consists of 5 chapters. Значит, книга состоит из, соответственно, пяти глав. The book consists of five chapters. Далее, очень полезно вообще, знаете, когда вы слушаете, when you hear something in English, когда вы слушаете что-то на английском языке, and also, и также explanations in English, так, также объяснение на английском языке, и часто появляются такие вещи, как, соответственно, consonant, consonant, что такое consonant? Can you give me some examples? Of a consonant. Вы можете найти пример, что consonant. Consonant – это означает, там, согласно, там, L, B, C, etc. И так далее. L, B, C, etc. Vowel – это, наоборот, гласное. Гласное. Там, e, O, E, O, и так далее, etc. Далее. И также, помню с вами... Кстати, знаки пропинания, например, можно сказать, не забудь там поставить Don't forget to put Don't forget Don't forget to put Не забудь поставить что? Colon, colon, colon Означает двоеточие Don't forget to put там, И говорим артикль Don't forget to put a colon Там есть где-то там поставить говорит, Don't forget to put a colon Двоеточие Добавляем артикль, don't forget to put a colon. Так, повторяем. So, desktop. Did you save the document? Yeah, it's on my desktop. Consist. There are five chapters in this book. The book consists of five chapters. Consonant, L, B, C, and so on. Vowel, E, O, etc. Colon. Don't forget to put... A colon, for example, or you can say you can say don't forget to put a semicolon. So what is a semicolon? It's this. Semicolon. Okay, um, the next word is syllable. Syllable. Okay. How will you pronounce? So I have a question for you. I have a question for you. How will you pronounce? How will you pronounce? How will you pronounce? Как вы произнесете? 
How will you pronounce these words? Как вы произнесете данное слово? How will you pronounce this word? This word. How will you pronounce this word? Как вы произнесете это слово? Например, this word. И вы хотите сказать, что ну, то, на русском often, you know, students often say um, something in Russian, you know, uh, students часто говорят что-то на русском языке. But you know, our method is that, наш метод заключается в том, that we use mostly English. Что мы используем в основном только английский. Or only English, только английский язык. И действительно, I hope that will create new playlists only in English. Мы снимем только новые плейлисты, только на английском языке. So, and so you want to say ударение там на первый слог. So, and, you know, it's better, I suppose, it's better to say it in English. Я полагаю, что это лучше говорить на английском языке. Так, ударение, это будет stress, the stress, это ударение, is, на, is on the, например, на, на первый слог. Is on the first, там, и слог, это syllable. The stress is on the first syllable. Как правильно, import or import? First or on the second? Syllable. So, <laughs> which answer is correct? On the first syllable or on the second syllable? So, how can we say it correctly? Import or import? Yeah, a good question. So, if it's a noun, если это существительное, import, import. Yes, the stress is on the first syllable, and if it's a verb, importirate, import, the stress is on the second syllable. Syllable, so is the opposite situation. Okay, so I think that you understood it. Yeah, really nice example. Really nice example. Okay, so the next word, contact, contact, contact. So означает контакт, также контактировать, связаться. So I suppose uh, he has lots of contacts. Я предполагаю, что у него множество контактов. I suppose. I suppose he has lots of contacts. Contacts. Yeah, and so the next word, I think this word is quite interesting. It's wire, wire. So, and I can give you the following example. I often learn English via the internet. I often learn English. I often learn English. I often learn English via the internet. То есть через интернет. По-другому... So, in other words, I can say I often learn English online. In other words, yeah, in other words. In other words, it's a very good phrase. So, a really nice phrase. In other words, I often learn English. I often learn English online. So, it's another way of expressing the same idea or it's another way of saying the same thing. So, I often learn English online. Okay, well done. Let's go on. Yeah, and let's look at one more word. So, it's contain. What does this word mean? Что означает это слово? I can say, for example, я могу сказать, например, This channel contains lots of useful materials. This channel, I mean the channel English Galaxy, contains, contains, Содержит, this channel contains, this channel contains, yeah, this channel contains, so we don't have enough space, у нас недостаточно места, so uh, let's go further, let's go on, let's go on, so this channel contains lots of useful materials, множество полезных материалов, this channel contains lots of useful materials, Material. okay, so let's revise all these words and examples, so you can see semicolon, yeah, syllable. How will you pronounce this word? Import or import. The stress is on the first syllable, yeah, if it's a noun, and the stress is on the second syllable if it's a verb. Contact. I suppose you had lots of contacts. Okay, wire and contain. I often learn English by the internet. In other words, I often learn English online. Yeah, very useful words, and I also hope that we have very useful expressions and sentences. So this channel contains lots of useful materials. Yeah, container. They imported, they imported 
two containers. То есть они импортировали два контейнера. They imported two containers. Contemporary, значит, современный. Contemporary. Contemporary. So, do you like you know, contemporary? Тебе нравится современная там, не знаю, do you like contemporary music, современная музыка? Do you like, или do you like contemporary? Современная литература. Do you like contemporary literature? Do you like contemporary? Contemporary literature. Do you like contemporary? Con con yeah, contemporary. Do you like contemporary literature? In other words, modern. Do you like contemporary literature? Okay, next. Contents. Содержание. Там содержание там чего-либо. The contents. Содержание книги. Uh, the contents of the book. It's plural. Нужное число. The contents of uh, the book look interesting. Выглядит интересно. То есть содержание книги выглядит интересно. The, con yeah, the, contents, the contents of the book look interesting. And context. So learn English in context. Изучайте английский в контексте. Действительно, it's a very important rule. Learn English in context. Изучайте английский в контексте with examples. Learn English. Learn English in context. Изучайте английский в контексте. Learn English in context. And one more word. Contest. Значит, соревнование, состязание. So it was an international contest. It was an international. Это было международное соревнование, состязание. It was an international contest. It was an international contest. A contest or a competition. Contest, competition, championship, you know, all these words are quite similar. Okay, so you see a container. Next, contemporary. Yeah, but uh, we need to, uh, yeah, to repeat these examples too. So, yeah. Uh, container, they imported two containers. Contemporary. Do you like contemporary literature? Contents. The contents of the book look interesting. Context and context. Learn English. Learn English in context. It means learn English with examples. It's what I did right now and what we usually do on the channel. And, you know, one more example which you have. It was an international contest. It was an international contest. Okay, so the next word. Yeah, let's look at the next word. It's contract. Yeah. And we often use such a word such a word as sign with this contract. So contract, yeah, it's easy to understand this word, it means contract. Sign I can say in the following for example, they signed a contract. Они подписали контракт. They signed a contract. В конце концов, в конечном счете. Uh, they signed a contract. Oh finally. В конечном счете. Finally. Finally they signed a contract. Okay, remote. Отдаленный. So, it's a very remote place. Это очень отдаленное место. It's very, it's a very remote place. It means it's very far. It's very far. И пульт управления, it's remote control. It's a very remote place. Okay, the next word, distant. Дальнее. So, he is her distant relative. Он ее дальний родственник. He is her distant relative. Next, convince. Значит, convince – это убеждать кого-то. Есть такое выражение. So, remember this phrase. I am convinced. Я убежден. I am convinced. I am convinced. Я убежден. I am, I am convinced that they did the right thing. Я убежден, что они сделали правильную вещь. That they did the right thing. I'm convinced that they did the right thing. Yeah, but you can, you know, you can make the sentence sound stronger. Вы можете сделать это предложение так, чтобы оно звучало более сильно. Вы можете, for example, сказать I'm absolutely convinced. То есть я всецело убежден. I'm absolutely convinced. So it's a very good phrase, you know, for speaking. Yeah, it, uh, I think that it sounds really natural. So I'm absolutely convinced that they did the right thing. So I don't know why, I don't know why, but I really like lessons for intermediate students and more advanced students. So I think that we need and we need to go on, you know, recording lessons in this format and other formats too. 
yeah, for intermediate and advanced students only in English. So if you support this idea, you we can do it. So it's in your hands. I mean, the future and the strategy of this channel. Okay, uh, you see. So by the way, contract and sign. Finally, they signed a contract. Yeah, so it was a good deal. Deal at Zdelka. It was a good deal. Remote. It's a very remote place. It's very yeah so it's very so why did i who really why did i uh, write it again so it's really so weird yeah i can say it's strange it's strange but there is another word yeah which means more or less the same it's weird 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 it also means strange so it's very far it's very far yeah so i'll try not to lose concentration yeah it's important okay so remote it's a very remote place, it means it's very far, it's very far from here. Uh, distant, he is your distant relative and convinced. I'm absolutely convinced that they did the right thing. It means that I'm absolutely sure, I'm absolutely sure, or I'm absolutely convinced. Okay, next. Persuade, persuade. Who knows the translation of this word? Знает перевод этого слова. He persuaded me. He persuaded me to go there with him. Он убедил меня пойти туда с ним. He persuaded me to go there with him. He persuaded. He persuaded me to go there with me. Oh, with him. Yeah. Cook. Готовить. Can you cook well? Ты можешь хорошо готовить? Can you cook well? Can you cook well? И также cook – это повар. Соответственно, cook – это повар, а вот cooker означает что? Ведь действительно, мы знаем, что часто там teacher, you know, teacher, worker, you know, and other professions, и другие профессии, we often see er. But this word is an exception. Но это слово исключение. Cooker означает плита, but cook – it can be a verb, so when we cook something, maybe tasty. And uh, cook uh, can mean a profession. It can mean a profession. So, cooker, плита. So, может, плита не работает. The cooker. Well, there is a phrase, out of work. The cooker is out of work. This не работает. The cooker is out of work. Не работает. The cooker is out of work. So, I really enjoy cooking and you. Я действительно обожаю готовить. То есть, cooking – это готовка. I really enjoy cooking. And you. It's my hobby. And you. You cooperate – означает сотрудничать. Например, я сотрудничаю очень тесно uh, с ними. Давайте сами это скажем. Значит, I cooperate. I cooperate. I cooperate. Очень тесно. Very. Это такая фраза very closely. I cooperate very closely. Там with their с их командой, with their team. I cooperate very closely with their team. Okay, so we have persuade, persuade. So he persuaded, he persuaded me to go there with him. Cook, can you cook well? Cooker, the cooker is out of work. Cooking, I really enjoy cooking, and you. Cooperate. I cooperate very closely with them. Okay, well done. Next, coordinate. Координировать. Um, I coordinate several projects. I coordinate. I coordinate several projects. Я координирую несколько проектов. I coordinate. I coordinate several projects. Я координирую несколько проектов. I coordinate several projects. Next. Coordination означает координация. So, he lacks. Ему не хватает. Lacks – это глагол. So, it can be a verb – не хватать. And lack – it can be a noun – нехватка. Lack of something – нехватка что-то. Lack of something – or he lacks. Ему не хватает means he doesn't have enough coordination. He lacks coordination. It means he doesn't have enough coordination and cooperation. Значит, cooperation означает кооперация, то есть, другими словами, in other words, взаимодействие. So, there was a very close cooperation between those two companies. There was a very close, было, было очень тесное взаимодействие, there was a very close cooperation, 
cooperation ну, между этими странами between these between uh, these two countries между этими двумя странами between these two uh, countries Okay, copy копировать so I want to tell you one thing I want to tell you one very important thing don't copy other students mistakes не надо копировать ошибки других студентов don't copy don't copy other students притяжательное поэтому нужное число своим апостроф don't copy other students mistakes mistakes and print print means печатать He printed, he printed, он напечатал, he printed that document. Он напечатал тот документ. Действительно, he printed, это он, he, he printed that document. So, and there is a joke, you know, so I don't print money. I don't print money, я не печатаю деньги, I don't print money. Okay, so coordinate, you see, I coordinate several projects. Coordination, he lacks coordination cooperation there was a very close cooperation between these two countries copy don't copy other students mistakes and print he printed that document he printed that document next scanner and printer so you can say I have I have a scanner me scanner I have a scanner at work на работе or I have a printer have a printer or I have a printer at work but we can you know we can say something different I have a printer in the office в офисе I have a printer I have a printer in the office I have a printer in the office or in my office okay corn corn означает зерно 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 это зерно весит the corn so весит way But the corn means it so weighs. The corn weighs two tons. Там зерно весит две тонны. The corn weighs two tons. And I think that you know, yeah, the next word. So everyone knows this um, word. But anyway, we decided to include this word. So it's popcorn. Так берется popcorn. So do you like popcorn? Вам нравится popcorn? Do you like popcorn? How often? So or do you sometimes buy it? Do you sometimes? Вы иногда покупаете? Do you sometimes buy it? Do you sometimes buy it? Okay, and corner. Corner means угол. I can say, for instance, so for for example, it's one way of saying this. Например, or I can say, for instance, so you can say, for example, you, you can say, for instance, it's in the corner of the screen. Это находится в углу экрана. It's in the corner of the screen. It находится в углу экрана. It's on the corner of the screen. So here it's on the corner of the slide. Okay, so let's check it. Okay, so we have scanner. Uh, next, yeah, printer. These words. I have a scanner at work or I have printer in the office. Corn. The corn weighs two tons. Popcorn. Do you like popcorn? Do you sometimes, yeah, do you sometimes buy it or do you sometimes eat it? Popcorn. And one more word which we see, corner. One more new word, corner. Or one more word in our list, corner. So it's in the corner of the screen. It's on the corner of the screen. Next, correction. Correction means исправление. So there were several corrections in my work. Было несколько исправлений в моей работе. There were several corrections. There were several, or some, there were some corrections, or there were several corrections in my work. В моей работе there were several corrections in my work. Correspondent, значит, корреспондент. Correspondent. So, you know, my brother works as a correspondent. Мой брат работает корреспондентом. My brother works as a Correspondent, корреспондентом, correspondent. Он всегда хотел быть журналистом. He has always wanted to become a journalist. He has always wanted to become a journalist. Он всегда хотел быть журналистом. He has always wanted to become a journalist. 
corruption. Коррупция. I'm against corruption. Я против коррупции. I'm against. I'm against corruption. Я против коррупции. I'm against corruption. And I have a question for you. У меня также для вас вопрос. Do you think that hell and paradise exist? Do you think that hell... Вы думаете, do you think that hell and paradise, что ад и рай существуют? Do you think that hell and paradise exist? So, correction. There were several corrections in my work. Correspondent. My brother works as a correspondent. He has always wanted to become a journalist. Corruption. I am against corruption. Hell and paradise. Do you think that hell and paradise exist? Okay, salvation. Спасение. It was done. Это было сделано. It was done for the salvation of humanity. It was done for the salvation. It was done for the salvation of humanity. Это было сделано для спасения человечества. It was done for the salvation of humanity. Thrilling. Захватывающая. So it's such a thrilling story. Это такая захватывающая. It's such a thrilling story. Это такая захватывающая история. It's such a thrilling story. Such a thrilling story. То есть захватывающая. Thrill. Чувство такого восхищения. Thrill. So, you know, I experienced, я испытал, I experienced, you know, some kind of, нет рода, I experienced some kind of thrill, нет рода восхищения, такое волнение, чувство трепета, I experienced some kind of thrill. So, you know, uh, thrilling, yeah, I think that um, there is a similar Adjective, прилагательное, and you know this adjective, it's exciting. Exciting, то есть, видите, волнующе. But I suppose that thrilling sounds uh, a bit stronger, звучит сильнее. Thrilling sounds stronger. And thrill or excitement. 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 Uh, generally, yeah, generally speaking, we use exciting and uh, excitement, I mean, these words more often, but uh, these words, thrill and thrill, thrilling and thrill, they can also take place. You know, in different situations, yeah, and exciting. So something exciting, такое волнующее, тоже бодражающее. So it's really exciting. It's really exciting. Действительно, очень волнующее, очень такое бодражающее. То есть it's really exciting to learn English, to learn English here. Изучать английский здесь, to learn English here, to learn English here. It's, you know... Эта технология более продвинутая. This technology... This technology... Эта технология... Здесь запишем. This technology... This technology is... Um, там, более продвинутая. Is more advanced. So it's really exciting to learn English. It means it's wonderful. Действительно прекрасно. Действительно захватывающе, будоражающе. It's really exciting to learn English here. This technology is more advanced. Ну, from my point of view, с моей точки зрения. And costume означает uh, костюм. Например, можно сказать, что he bought, он купил, he bought a skin costume. Он купил лыжный костюм. He bought a skin costume. So, we see. Salvation. It was done for the salvation of humanity. Thrilling. It's such a thrilling story or it's such an exciting story. Thrill. I experienced some kind of thrill. I experienced some kind of excitement. Exciting. It's really exciting to learn English here. This technology is more advanced. Costume. He bought a skin costume. He bought a skin costume. Okay, next. So what is next? Cozy. Cozy означает удобное. It's a very cozy bed. Это очень удобное кровать. It's a very cozy bed. Yes, it's a very cozy bed. Это очень удобная кровать. It's a very cozy bed. Okay, stunning, ошеломляющий. It was a stunning success. Это был ошеломляющий успех. It was a stunning success. It was a stunning success. Couple. 
пара, парочка, там, he made a couple of mistakes, он сделал пару ошибок, he made a couple of mistakes, he made a couple of mistakes, cover, покрывать, so, who will cover their losses, who will cover, who will cover their losses, кто покроет их убытки, who will cover their losses, losses, и crack, Crack означает расколоть. Например, he cracked, he cracked the nut. И вспомним также идиому. Идиом заключается в следующем. A hard nut to crack. A hard nut to crack. Вот есть такая идиома. То есть какой-то фразеологизм, устойчивое рождение. Думаю, можно делать также видео про это. Например, он, можно сказать, he is a hard nut to crack. То есть, дословно, он твердый орешек. То есть, чтобы расколоть. То есть, действительно, он такой очень сложный, вообще не человек. He's a hard nut to crack. So, it means, it's very difficult to deal with him. Очень трудно иметь с ним дело. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Очень сложно. It's very difficult to deal with him. Помните, у нас был курс с вами 200 фраз в глаголах? Может, 200 идем как-нибудь сделаем. Ну, сейчас может какого-то события. It's very difficult to deal with him, с ним. Okay, so, cozy. Cozy. It's a very cozy bat. Stunning. It was a stunning success. Couple. He made a couple of mistakes. Cover. Who will cover their losses? Crack. He cracked the nut. He is a hard nut to crack. So it's, it means it's very difficult to deal with him. Okay, so let's revise everything. Let's just remember, повторим only in English. So it's very important for your listening skills. Okay, so desktop. Did you save the document? Yeah, it's on my desktop. Consist. There are five chapters in this book. The book consists of five chapters. Consonant, for example, L, B, C, and so on. Vowel, E, O, etc. Colon. Don't forget to put a colon or don't forget to put a semicolon. Syllable. How will you pronounce this word? Import or import? The stress is on the first syllable or the stress can be on the first syllable and it can be on the second syllable. It depends on the meaning. Next. Contact. I suppose he has lots of contacts. Wire. Contain. I often learn English via the internet. In other words, I often learn English online. The channel contains lots of useful materials. Container. They import it to containers. Contemporary. Do you like contemporary, <laughs> contemporary literature? Okay, next. Contents. The contents of the book look interesting. And two more words. Context and contest. Learn English in context. It was an international contest. Contract. Sign. Finally, they signed a contract. Remote. It's a very remote place. It's very far. Distant. He's your distant relative. Convince. I'm absolutely convinced that they did the right thing. That they did. Yeah, that they did the right thing. Yeah. So it's correct now that they did the right thing. Next. Persuade. He persuaded me to go there with him. Cook. Can you cook well? Cooker. Yeah, one more interesting word. Cooker. The cooker is out to work. Cooking. I really enjoy cooking and you. Cooperate. I cooperate very closely with their team. I cooperate, or I can say, I cooperate with their team. I cooperate with their team very closely. I cooperate with their team very closely. I cooperate with their team very closely. Okay. Next. So what is next? Yes, that's enough about it. So let's go on. Coordinate. I coordinate several projects. Coordination. He lacks coordination. Cooperation. There was a very close cooperation between these two countries. Copy. Don't copy other students' mistakes. Print. Yeah, print. He printed that document. He printed that document. Scanner and printer. I have a scanner at work. 
I have a printer in the office. Corn. The corn weighs two tons. Popcorn. Do you like popcorn? Do you sometimes buy it? Corner. It's in the corner of the screen. Correction. There were several corrections in my work. Correspondent. My brother works as a correspondent. He has always wanted to become a journalist. Corruption. I am against corruption. Yeah, and two more interesting words. Uh, hell and paradise. So, we have this question. Do you think that hell and paradise exist? Salvation. It was done for the salvation of humanity. Thrilling. It's such a thrilling story or it's such an exciting story. Thrill. I experienced some kind of thrill or some time of excitement. Exciting. It's really exciting to learn English here. This technology is more advanced. Costume. He bought a skiing costume. Cozy. It's a very cozy bed. Stunning. It was a stunning success. Couple. He made a couple of mistakes. Cover. Who will cover the losses? Crack. He cracked the nut. He is a hard nut to crack. So it's very difficult to deal with them. With him. Okay. Thanks for support. I really appreciate it. Okay. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye.